Okay, let me show you how to make a um, telephone cord. So, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get a box, a cube, and I'm just going to lay out a plane like this. Uh, try to make it, I guess, as even as we'll make it five meters squared. Okay, now we have this little box here. Drop the tool, spacebar, drop the tool. I'm going to get a new item, a new mesh item. Okay. I'm going to go to my quad view here. And I'm going to find my box here. And I'm going to go to the basic tab, center selected all. This will center everything up. And here's our box. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my new mesh. Okay. Then I'm going to go to my curve. I'm going to select just the regular curve tool. Okay. So now I'm going to click right in the center of that box to center everything up. Okay. And then I'm going to click out from the side here. As you can see, when I do that, it brings my curve straight out. Okay. So I'm going to do that right out to here, maybe even further. Like that. Now, as you can see, what we got here, I have my curve coming right out of that little box there, like that. So now I'm going to go back to my first mesh, which is my little plane. And since my um, curve is facing this way, I'm going to select my mesh here, my little square, and I'm going to flip it. That way, when I turn around, you can see now the face of my polygon, the normal, is facing my curve. And so here's my curve, and here's my polygon face. Now, I'm going to keep my polygon face there selected. Go to my Duplicate tab, and I'm going to select on, oh, Curve Extrude, and click. And bam, look what we got there. So I'm going to move, turn the steps down a little bit, maybe to about 12. Actually, I want to make them higher than that. I want to make them 32. How's that? 32 steps. Then I'm going to have it, let's see, by length, okay? I'm going to have it by length, and I'm going to have the cap, the ends, like that. So now my ends are capped, as you can see. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have extruded that, that box along the curve, and I can take these edit points now and adjust these and however I want you know since I extruded that plane along the curve it don't have to be a plane it can be anything to extrude I could have really made an elaborate shape with my curve and then just extended this box around the curve saves a whole lot of work so let's go on with our telephone cord want to so the first thing I want to do go to edge mode I'm gonna select all these edges like this I'm going to hold my shift key and double click the last one. That'll select them all. Okay? Then I'm going to hold my alt key. When you do that, you'll notice your vertices, edges, and polygon nodes up here switch to convert. I'm going to hold that alt key and hit the convert to vertices button. And boom, look at there. Now we have all of our points selected. So now, let's go to polygon tab and select split. Now when we do that, look what happens. It gives us this really weird pattern. Now that we've got this weird pattern, I'm going to select my edge mode again. And you'll see that selects the edges that we had the first time around. Now what I'm going to do is go to my edge tab and hit remove. Say OK. And look what we're left with. A good spiral. So let's go to our polygon mode. And let's select this polygon. Well, let's start here. We'll select this polygon and this polygon and hit the L key. When we do that, you notice what happens there? Now we can go t one of two ways here. We can just Command C and go to a new item, Mesh, Command V and paste it, okay? Or we can, let's select it again. So I can show you. There's a couple of ways of doing this.
instead of cutting and pasting it, just go up to your select menu, hit invert, and then hit delete. And look what we're left with, the same exact thing. So it's up to you how you want to do it. Okay, now that we have this, let's select it, go to our basic tab. Now you can see here, this would be a great beginnings for threads of a screw. Okay, can you see that? So let's go ahead and run the thicken tool. Let's fire that. And we'll thicken it up a little. Like so. Look at there. Looking good, huh? Now we go into polygon or sub D mode. We got telephone cords. So let's just go to the deform tab and, and, and you know, detail this up by selecting the scale tools, the push. And we're going to push this like this. And there we go. This is a short section of telephone cord. You could make it long, short, use it for threads on a, on a uh, screw or anything you want. So there is our fast tutorial. I hope you've learned something. I really do. And um, see you next time.